dimes and nickels. That's all. We're not asking for an arm, a leg, a kidney, or a lung, or whatever. We're just asking for a little small token of you know, a problem that's big in the city. Oh, feed the homeless today, guys. It's a, it's a um, terrible problem. I mean, this organization right here, I was homeless. And it helped me. I came over to New York from Georgia. I didn't have but $20 in my pocket. Got with the organization and gradually grew to get my own apartment. You know, eating every day, you know, not snatching pocketbooks, stealing from stores, doing anything of the criminal element. They don't have too many shelters when that happens. They don't have any shelters. I wish they'd make, you know, big shelters when that does happen. They don't. They let them hang out. We got about 38 million homelesses out there. 38 million. Right now, the way they, the way they're supposed to hook some people in these centers, they're supposed to give them decent housing. They give a few housing, and then now we got some you know, that's on the waiting list, waiting so long that they're not getting any housing. It's, if in three years your voucher, your voucher lasts for three years, after three years it's being thrown out, you have to get it, renew everything all over again. This government's not equal to nobody. That's what the problem is. That's what the problem is. <laughs> I had my job for a while, lost my job. Wind up in wind up in jail, hustling, and and wind up homeless after that. to live in the street, but that's the way it is. I had dreams, I never was. My cause is unknown because I never had a, a mother or father, and I don't have any no relatives, but I believe that there's a cause that keeps me believing that people are important and that there's a, there's a reason for living even though I may not be born nor have a born identity. Thank you. times a day, wash my butt, uh, <laughs> pays my storage rent every month, that's all. Mary got pregnant from a kid named Tom, said he was in love. 